This is John Henry Weston for LifeSite News, bringing you breaking news out of the Vatican. It looks like the pushback from some of the bishops out of the world, especially in Africa, has affected the Vatican, so much so that the head of the dicastery for the Doctrine of Faith, Cardinal Fernandez, has come down with a new document saying, absolutely not, can you totally deny or go against this uh, document signed by the... Holy Father. So the big thing is the pushback is very real. They're actually in this document doing very much misdirection, deception, if you want to call it that. Listen to this. They say that, and I'll read it to you because it, it's so weird. It said that the, this is a direct quote from the document, the understandable statements of some Episcopal conferences regarding the document, fiducia supplicants, have the value of highlighting the need for a more extended period of pastoral reflection. They go on to say that they cannot be, that's these <laughs> statements from bishops around the world, cannot be interpreted as doctrinal opposition because the document is clear and definitive about marriage and sexuality. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cannot be interpreted as, they say, uh, as doctrinal opposition? Well, that's baloney. That's total baloney. I'll, show you, I'll tell you exactly why it's baloney. I'm going to read to you the quotes from the other bishops. So, but one thing you should know, they are doubling down. This is a doubling down. This isn't backing off because of the African bishops or other bishops around the world and cardinals who have said this is nonsense and it must be disobeyed, it must be rejected. But they're actually doubling down. Here's the doubling down phrase before we get to how they're lying. But here's the doubling down phrase. Prudence and attention to the ecclesial context and to the local culture could allow for different methods of application, but not a total or definitive denial of this path that is proposed to priests. So, not a total denial. So, and that the bishops' conferences stuff should not be read as a rejection. Well, let's read some of the bishops' conferences and the bishops, which say just about the opposite. Let's read. This is from the Diocese of Wote in Kenya, P Bishop Paul Njuru. The Declaration of the Dicastery for the Doctrine of Faith, Fiducia Supplicants, should be rejected in a totality. I hereby prohibit all priests in the diocese, in the Catholic Diocese of Wot from blessing couples in a regular situation or same-sex couples. Or the Catholic Bishops of Cameroon, the whole Bishops' Conference. All the bishops, therefore. The bishops warned that, quote, Differentiating between liturgical and non-liturgical contexts in order to apply blessing to same-sex couples is hypocritical. They go on to say, we formally forbid all blessing of homosexual couples in the Church of Cameroon. The Bishop of uh, Karanga in Malawi said, our major concern is that this document looks to us like a heresy, reads like a heresy, and it affects heresy. It's very sad for me that for the first time in history of the Church, a document released from the Holy See, signed by the Holy Father, is rejected by his fellow bishops, end quote. So, obviously, what this tells us, and by the way, go to lifesatenews.com for Rome correspondent Michael Haynes' full report on this. Um, but what this tells us is the Africa pushback is working. They're enraged. They're doubling down, sure. But it also affirms, this document also affirms that these blessings can be done in public. So just because they're not, they're apparently not to be done in a church, not in liturgical garb or whatever, but they can be done in public. A lot of people have said, oh, it can only be done in private. No, this document actually makes clear they can be done in public. It does give an exemption that bishops are allowed to insist that they be done privately, but the Vatican has allowed them to be done in public. And moreover, um, I want to get to this one last point before I let you go, and that is that this document is so deceptive. They give one example of a blessing of this kind of couple's blessing. What do they say? What's the example? Oh, it's the example of a heterosexual couple who's divorced and remarried or whatever. Um, okay, first of all, everyone in the church knew you can always bless people in sin and uh, you, you pray for them and you pray that they convert and repent and are able to come out of their sinful situations. But that's the example they give, not the same-sex couple. Oh, come on. Anyway, for LifeSite News, this is John Henry Weston. Go to LifeSite News for the full story. God bless you.